Welcome, EBP, Gears of War community, YouTube, and whoever else might stumble upon this video. This is just going to be a, uh, a very quick overview of the new combustible map pack that was released just a day or so ago. Uh, my understanding is that um, these three new maps, uh, the first one we're about to look at right now, Flood, as well as uh, Fuel Station, and Gold Rush, the three new maps. From what I understand, two of them are actually uh, from like the PC release of the original game. And um, and this one that we're looking at right now, Flood, is the only actually brand new one. But uh, for me, uh, not actually having played the original Gears, let alone the PC version, all of this is going to be a new experience for me. My first time running through the maps. Um, as you can see, I'm playing through on Horde mode right now. I figured maybe uh, maybe I'll get a little bit more time, you know, more downtime to explore the map. But it doesn't seem to be working that way right now. I keep getting attacked. So I've played through this map for a couple of minutes, and um, and just to let you guys know, I'm a huge fan of the Horde mode itself, and. That's pretty much all I play on the multiplayer maps. I haven't been playing too much competitive multiplayer. So, um, this map, Flood in particular, I don't quite like for a horde mode. It's, um, there, there aren't too many defensible spots. It's a very small map. Each single room has, uh, has more than one entryway. And it just doesn't really work in horde mode. I haven't gotten a chance to play it in, uh, in any kind of competitive modes, I'll, I'll give it a chance later on. But it seems like it'd make a you know a fun multiplayer map. Maybe not so much for more strategic games. Like I said, it it feels a little bit too random. There's a ton of action in it, so it'll be a fun map to play for certain. But um, it's it it doesn't really feel like it has too much of a, a special balance to it. it, it every the encounters feel kind of random. Now, the next thing we need to talk about, really, about this map pack is its price. In all honesty, it's rather expensive. It's uh, just a package of three maps. However, it is $10. 800 Microsoft points. So that makes it, you know, $3.33 a pack, a map. And, uh, it's really up to you to decide if you think that's worth it. Feels a little bit expensive to me. Uh, I normally readily spring for any kind of extras. Uh, as you can see, I bought this. But really, um, I think this really should have been priced at about 400 Microsoft points, five dollars. But uh, but you will still have fun with this map pack. But the verdict so far on Flood is my least favorite of the new maps. So let's move on to, uh, to our next map. The next map on our list is um, Fueling Station. And uh, like the last map, it's, it's, it's really not that great, at least in my point of view. But I'm about to show you the best thing about this map. Like I said, I love playing Horde. And this is perhaps the best map for it, and I'm about to show you why. This whole map is centered around this one gas station. And this gas station is extremely defensible. Um, the bottom level isn't all that great. You, you can defend it, it only has a handful of entrances. But the best moment is right over here. Just walk into this back room and take this elevator up to the roof. Now when you get to the roof, you'll realize two things very quickly. One, the horde cannot use the elevator. And two, the only way, other way onto the roof is from this staircase right here. Which means when the players are up here, all the horde must go up that one staircase. There's no other way for them to reach you. So that makes this perhaps the best map out of all the existing maps to play horde mode on. Because it's, it's the one that's most easily defended. Not all the enemies will come after you, but when they do, as you're about to see, it's you turn it into a staircase and get through. They'll just one by one 
you know, fall to your, your cheap camping tactics, but you know, it works. Another good thing is, not all the horde will, will come up that, come up the stairs, a lot of them will still just kind of wander the map. But it's very easy to shoot over the ledge of the entire gas station, so it's, it's extremely easy to pick off the stragglers while one or two people guard the staircase. And um, if you need ammo, you need some more weapons, it's very easy to run down into the alleyway and, um, and you know, get some new weapons or some new ammo. But really, that is all there is to say about fueling stations, so I'm just going to take you on a quick look at um, the final map in this map pack, Gold Rush. Now, this is personally my favorite. Uh, the last one is better for, uh, for playing this. some horde mode. But this is the best map out of all the new ones because, as you can see right here, it's um, it has a lot of kind of dead end spaces that are good for um, for camping and fighting the horde. But there is also, um, you know, this is also a, a really action packed map as you go from one room to another. Basically, every single room in this map you can defend with, you know, four or five people, three people, whatever, and. Um, so when you're playing horde, it makes it'll make it a little bit more fun because you can you can go around the map and uh, you can move around the map and whenever you happen to get besieged by a whole bunch of enemies, you can still um, you know it's it's not a problem. You can still just hunker down and, and fight off the horde. It makes uh, makes for a lot of action. It makes for a lot of really good moments. And let me just show you. This very last bit right here, an example of how you can just kind Got of, uh, you could just drag a battle log halfway across the map. Uh, right here, I was being chased by a butcher. I wanted to, uh, wanted to lead him on a bit, uh, take a few shots on him with my sniper, see if I could kill him. And as I walk through the map, you can you can see how like this area right here only has two entrances, and um, the staircase can be defended. One guy watching the uh, the top of it, one guy watching the bottom. When I get to the bottom of these stairs, you'll see that um, it leads to a dead-end room that can easily de be defended because it only has one entrance and it has some ammo and some weapons in it. So, um, if you play Horde mode, these three maps, two of them are really good. They, they seem geared towards uh, Horde mode. The last one is just kind of, uh, just kind of for multiplayer. You could really use any mode on any map like you can with the rest of them. But, uh, Sweet. I personally enjoy the map pack. I don't really think it's worth ten dollars. But uh, I just thought I'd give you a really quick look. Maybe I'll put up a longer video. But uh, for now, that's my quick tour. I hope you'd enjoy it and uh, buy it if you'd like. Access granted to additional media content. Log on to clanebp.com for more videos and podcasts.